they are a break even uh, operation that no essentially that no money leaves Ontario that there is no extra money somehow that should be going into government coffers you buy that you would think that the beer store was the food bank in Ontario that they're doing this as a public service remember the beer store is a company kind of a co-op that is owned by the three biggest brewers in Canada Labatt's Molson Coors and Sleeman's who are themselves now owned by foreigners and who's I can't pronounce it a AB InBev, the old uh, Anheuser-Busch company, uh, Molson Coors, and Sapporo of Japan. So they are the owners, and they get the benefits from the big spreads and the price and the margins that are that are fire. That Ontario's beer market is more profitable. It's a three billion dollar a year market than in any other province in Canada for those big brewers. So there's a lot of wordplay and semantics that goes on. The beer store is one of the most influential and well-financed lobbies in this province, and they are very aggressive in the way they pursue their interests. Well, I, I pressed the Minister of Finance, this is his file this week, about why is this continuing, why should, it, why should we have this continuing in Ontario, and they fell back on the Liberal response, which is pretty much everything, which is we're looking at it. That's their, that's their smokescreen, if you will, is what's under review. But you're saying that the lobby is so strong, is there any chance in your mind that it will change? It depends on the public. Look. This is not the biggest, most important issue yes, in is. Ontario. Yes, it is. There is, there are, there are food banks. There is a shortage of housing. There is pharmacare, dental issues. No, Don't seriously, make me feel guilty. there are important issues. The difference is this one is the easiest to solve. It would only require the government to first of all allow the LCBO to do two fours, and eventually to let the private sector also compete in selling beer, rather than letting one privileged group make the most money out of this. All right, great exclusive. Thank you so much, Martin Redcone from the Toronto Star.